Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice multiple blend involving square roots? From here, you can rewrite this as square root of root 2 di can be written as root 4 times 3, then divided by here. You still have 9, then plus root. You can separate this as 36 times 3, and from here. We can also break this down from where we have root AB, which can be written as root A times root B. And here, this will become square root of root 4 times root 3. Then over here, we have 9 plus root 36 then times root 3 as well from here. Then what we have now reduce to square root of here root 4 that's 2 then times root 3 that's 2 root 3 then over here we still have 9 then plus here we have 6 that's root 36 then also times root 3 and from here we can multiply and divide by the quantity solved that is we rationalize from here then this gives us square root of 2 root 3 over here we can write this as 6 root 3 plus 9 then now multiply by here we have 6 root 3 minus 9 and also we multiply this as well by 6 root 3 minus 9 from here then that means we have rationalized here then the next step this we multiply and this becomes square root of here we have 2 root 3 we multiply 6 root 3 then minus also 2 root 3 we multiply 9 that will become 18 root 3 and from here we divide by what we have here is conjugate sort that is when we have a plus b into bracket a minus b here we can write this as power square that's a square minus b square so what we have here now we have 6 root 3 all square then minus 9 square and now from here we have square root of here 2 times 6 that's 12 then root 3 times root 3 that's 3 then 12 times 3 that gives us 36 and also we can just put it as 12 times 3 then minus 18 root 3 from here then divided by what we have here this square will affect 6 that's 36 6 square then to affect root 3 that's root 3 square square can be square root that's 3 then minus here 9 square that's simply 81 9 times 9 and in the next step we have square root of we can factor what is common up here that's 3 here then left to 12 minus here factor 3 out and remain 6 root 3 then close bracket then divided by here also we can factor what is common out from here we also 3 so we have 3 now into bracket 36 minus here we mean 27 then close bracket and next term here these three we cancel each other then we are left with square root of 12 minus 6 root 3 then divided by 36 minus 27 give us 9 then in the next term also write this as square root of 1 over 9 multiplied by 12 minus 6 root 3 from here and we 
can separate this into two square roots as square root of 1 over 9 multiplied by square root of 12 minus 6 root 3 from here. Then in the next step, we have square root of 1 over 9 is also 1 over 3. Then multiply by square root of here. We can write it as 12 minus 2 times 3. That is 6 here. 2 times 3, then root 3 from here. Then also 12 here can be written as 9 plus 3. And we have 1 over 3 times square root of 9 plus 3. Then minus 2 times 3 root 3 from here. Now, here, when we look at this, we can form it in the form of when we have a square plus b square, then minus 2ab, which will give us a minus b all square from here. Then it implies that here we can write 9 as 3 square, then we can write Nine here as three square, and we can write three here as root three square. At this, what we have here then becomes one over three square root four. We have three square now plus root three square, then minus two times three times root three, and from here. A now is standing as 3 and root 3 is standing as B here. Yeah? Then what we now have we reduce to 1 over 3 square root of A minus B all square that's 3 minus root 3 all square. Then here yeah, the square here yeah, we cancel the square roots and we are left with 1 over 3 into bracket 3 minus root 3. And also 1 over 3, you open this bracket, you will 3 times 1 over 3, that's 1 over 3 times 3, then minus 1 over 3 times root 3. Then here, 3 cancel each other here. Then we are left with 1, that's 1 minus here. This will come with 3 over 3. So here we have the solution to this problem. That's 1 minus 3 over 3. So that's the end of this problem. So what we have here now is equals to 1 minus 3 over 3. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. See you next class. And bye for now.